welcome back to the another part of the car parking detail drawing now i already finished the 3d model so i will convert this to I will prepare for this the complete shop drawing including the connection details so I will make at least three continuous shade so every connection we will cover. Okay. I'll make copy. Okay. Copy. Copy. Then five meter. Then ten meters. Okay. So now it's three continuous shape. So here at this truss we have connection like this single. At this truss we have double connection double sided. So there's two intermediate trusses and two is outer trusses. Okay, at the first and at the last. So simply I will go to plan view. Okay. I will use flat short. Okay. The obstructed lines I will convert it to hidden lines. Let me load the hidden line. Hidden lines, what will be? Look good. Okay, now it will be hidden. Okay, I will use this line to create. See this, they easily created the lines. Uh, I will show you. See, go to LTS line top scale, just change the value. See, you can change different. Now I am in the model, I am using more values. If you will mean layout, then it will be lesser. See here, the all hidden members are dotted thickness of the pi dotted so this is the plan I converted 3D to 2D let me take one flat shot of the front elevation okay create I will cut this I go to plan I will paste it here somewhere no problem I will go to elevation I will take another flat shot I will convert also I will cut the plan I will paste I will go to perspective view isometric view okay with whatever all it is not necessary to perspective view you can rotate it and adjust the position wherever you will adjust the 3d model and then after that you can take flat shot on the same view so i like this isometric only isometric because because in isometric with the flat shot everything will be clear if something is done then we can rotate so i will make flat shot again i will make this without obstructed lines okay Let's create Okay, enter, enter, enter. Top view. So I already get the. You can see. So in this view, there is no hidden lines. Only. Okay. Only. Ground lines. Four ground lines. They are visible lines only. The hidden is. Uh, I did not make. Okay. I deselect this one. So I easily converted, generated the different views. Now I have to adjust in the layout. It is very easy. I will recommend this. Just use some. Uh, this is my own customized symbols. 
So here I will recommend you this uh, 41 by 594 A1 size. This is my okay. title size A1. And I'm using A1 title block. So it is depend how you want to uh, present this details on the paper different option you can set, set all these journal views foundation details and connection details into one sheet if you will print originally a1 then it will be look good you can save the paper if you want to mostly mostly printing on a 3 so in that case you have to prepare on the journal views in the one sheet and the connection detail on the another sheet and foundation on another sometime or you can there are option you can make journal views plus connection detail on the one page and the next sheet you can use for the foundation detail so here I'm doing the same I will just divide equally So first you have to think how many views you are going to draw then it will be easy to manage the space so at this side I want to show the general views at this side I want to show the connection details so I have here four general views so I will divide it to four so like at this point I will make model view Move at some places if you want to make like a line, you can make this at a fully scaled flat shot on the elevations, but in the isometric view, it is not scaled. Just the scale go to go to modification and then you can adjust the scale custom scale you can check here. I will try here one by fifty. See it is perfectly fine. I need to move a little. This one, okay. So this one at 50 will be perfectly fine. This will be typical shading plan. Short of the front elevation, so I just match the plan view and the elevation, so it will be same in the same scale. I need to align, I need to align it here. This portion, okay, so centered. Make another view for the side elevation. Okay. 
but I'm not sure this will, this will be more will match also here you can see it's less so I can, can I will try into 1 by 25 at least or I will go for 1 inch to 20 no problem 1 to 1 by 25 it's fine so let's I have just did 3 view so the next view I have Submit view. So you have options to you can make here. I will try 50 is more. I need I need to say something 75. Even if you it, it is not to scale, it will be also good. No, no one is going to scale this. So you can adjust. So here you can after that all uh, no problem we'll make in left words what is not visible these lines so here I will just add it this is view number two I have front television one view view a a okay the same scale view number three I have side elevation refer here view B B okay that is one We'll delete this. So view number four is perspective or isometric view. View. Okay, that you can write here not to scale. So half of the arrangement has done. The second part is generating the typical details. Connect typical connection details. Just remember one thing: we are in shop rank. We are uh, not giving the fabrication details because there is a difference between fabrication drawing and shop drawing fabric in fabrication drawing we are giving the each plate sizes okay but in the shop drawing we are only labeling the materials like plate thickness the, the which item we are using the profile size the thickness the material grade the finish detail only we have to provide these things okay the numbers like bolt number quantity 2 or 4 or 6 this detail only so you can so no need to include the detail like you can add only base plate details if there is any flange you can detail but the ipad i will not recommend to add the ipad detailings plate sizes in in the shop drawing because it will look not good and because there is different between fabrication drawing and shop drawing so no need to show these details that is not uh, too much important for the shop drawings so So let we start the generating the typical connection details. I have copied one perspective view from the same view we will make the 
all the connection details okay so first I, I want to tell you how we have I want to show this detail number one two three and the same three will be here so this will be total six then I will add one this view so this will be seven after that I will add one detail from here fabric connection eight I will one add from here nine so nine de details I am going to show it here so I have to manage this space into nine at least nine equal views so what I do I will do I will make it and then the connection detail I will make a little smaller so here I will make a line then I will make a model view I will just so I will get here two views here two four six and then I will get here seven and then eight actually I need nine so it is coming eight only so I need two and at least two so let's see so I'm going to use this view let me show you there's two different methods one method is like the required view here so that's it after that you have to label only so after that if you want to adjust the scale you can adjust the scale from here so I want into 1 inch to 10 I will just select a bit more ok no problem I will move it to get to this side here Okay, like this you can make. You can make a little smaller. You have to label also. You have to think about also place. A little smaller, make more small. The same scale I will use. I'll just adjust. I have to manage somehow at this portion all the labeling here. Okay, so that is alright. Fine. Okay. I have only this much space to label. I will copy the same view. I will copy. Down here like this. <coughs> so I will drag. I want to show one this view, okay. And here I want to show this view only. So this one we have. I will copy this portion, I will copy, copy it here, then I will go to model view, then I will adjust this one. Okay, the same I will do here, I will go to, I will adjust here. 
and then I'll just send like this. You can also again recheck the scale. It is already it is in scale perfectly. Okay. So, so six views finalized. Then I have one more this view. I will add it here. It is coming a little bigger. I will divide again in the length. Adjusted all the views here. So after adjusting the scales and the position, I will recommend to go to again model view and then lock. Lock all the lock view locking on. Okay, to all the views. So if you have clicked mistakenly anywhere so it will not move anywhere see in our lock view lock so after that okay so what i this i have taken one detail i have lit the reference detail marking i will show it here it depend on you how you like one so here point I will copy here okay so copy detail 2 detail 3 more detail 3 again I will copy to here I will copy to here I will copy to here detail 4 Detail seven. So, like this, we have to label the views. Okay, so 
So maximum I will have finish. Only I need to add two view here for the fabric connection. So I am going to labels and show the measurements. the same dimension copy and paste it here here I will also show the measurements I want to change the line color of this. Yeah. 
spark is also good now for example three and also I will make uh, the same I will cover in one line this pipe will also 73 mm middle per length this one also 73 mm so I will add only one label here Otherwise, you can write also like this. Just, uh, write from here. Okay, and this one you can write from, from here. Okay, I think this will be fine. I will remove this one. all are our member sizes so I'm going to write you now all detail in, in the detail of the labeling so here I will just make arrow first then I'll, later I will just copy the text and paste so it will be more fast.
if you will write one by one so there's a lot of chances of mistake so I will recommend only copy and paste so it will not be wrong I want to add one more text here start from here then I'm going to take the work plate okay I will do one thing reduce the text height I will make it to 3 Okay, so this is a one M fourteen great eight point eight. Okay, not plus four plus washer. Okay, just it. this so this is a 93 5.16 mm thick 5 ok this is a 10 mm thick iPad this is a 10 mm thick cover plate is complete to here uh, I will copy this both sides I will paste it here I will change the quantity to bolts this one is uh, 20 mm round bar one is the same pipe size will be here plate then I have uh, this one I have yes two ten mm thick iPad I have here one twelve mm thick iPad size I can make it more or less it is readable till 2.5 mm completed the labeling for one view okay I can use the same I'll copy I will copy from one reference point 
it here paste it up here okay, it is perfectly fine all details are same okay so here also Paste it here, I will paste it here, I will paste it here. I will copy this on bar, I will paste it here. I will copy this and I will copy that. I will copy it and I will take a look at it. This is also completed. You can just copy. And then paste it here. And it's also perfectly fine. So our four details are completed. This is an easy method as I use. size Here I also miss the bold, that's why I will add here one more. Spread. 
match this line between this side and this also stretch. Okay, and see this, how fast is this method to draw the details. So, our next detail is detail 7. Then we have column. We copy the same text. Okay, then we have here holes. or it won't take it as per the project specs or design calculation anchor board so this detail is this detail is completed so now I want to add here Two details for the fabric fixation. It is typical, it is only we have to mark where these details. So I will add now. So I will add now fabric connection details. I have some ready mades, but I will tell you how to make this one this is uh, actual element extrusion single sided I have drawn by myself okay you can make also this is single sided this is double sided this is a self drilling screw so how it is fixed so I will tell you where uh, first I will show We will I will mark here one section so it will be easy for understanding Just make it smaller something like this on this view okay this will be same front and back and I want to add one more view Not 
clear line. Now fine. So this will be two locations. You can give random many colors, like similar color. This why white could be look very dark. So I will just mark any gray color. Not like this light color so this this will be section A this will be B okay so this will be C so now I have three I have to show three section okay I have this much portion to show the detail I will stretch a little bit Divided to three equal parts. So now I have this space for each view. Okay. So I have going to copy one this this and one screw okay I'll paste it here so first we will draw section AA okay we have dir 73mm pipe and then with thickness of 5.16 move and then I pick this middle point here I will copy this screw and then I will put it here in the middle after that there will be one four mm PVC rope so after that make one set of 1 mm and then like this make 40 Is the exact here this fabric double layer fabric here with this piece of this fabric it will fold here this five centimeter distance okay so change the color of this portion okay, like page of this color fabric color so one is like this Second one will be same, but it is the same. If you will. This will be like mirror, like this. But obviously, there is a double sided profile 
as we can see up to I have scaled, drawn scaled. Uh, for view purpose, you can use just mirror. So this is uh, actual fabric cross section. Add section A A. This will be also A. And then only here B. Here will be also B. So these are the fabric details A A and B. So before I write here, C is so only to be B. So I have only show only two views here. So I'll go to the model to view. Just the scale. But I have the next one is here. Modify. I will customize the scale. I want like one is two, two. Now one is two, one. It is a little bigger, so I will recommend. Just use NTS not to scale. Okay, so it's looking all fine. Just match these. Label it here. The model. Actually, this is the best labeling method in the model to make it fast. I used before in the layout. Okay. This is a PVC fabric. Uh, Seven hundred GSM. As for approval. So this video you can make a little more zoom. Six self drilling screw screw. You can use M four also. So here this uh, five size you need to mention. By five one one six mm thick pipe. So I'll copy these label and then paste it here. So this both are same. Okay. I tried everything to make in very simple way and easy understanding. I hope you understand this. So we have now view number 12 section. I will put here AA. I will 
right scale and ts okay Show parameters finish. If you want to add, show some frame detail here, just show a little patch of the frame break. Okay. For the fabric, any color, just adjust the scale. If you want to label on the isometric view, you can label, otherwise, it's fine. This all label is clear here. So, I hope you understand the, all the things. If you want to show fabric on the plan, you can just simply make here, uh, just take the center. stretch this middle delete this stretch this also then hatch use the hatch object line I will use like five hundred I will change the pattern Net. change the color it is less I will increase like this so here also you can use the same hatch pattern by division but I want to make one thing clear some cases you have to make here cut out so if you require cut out then you have to show on the line so after fixation there will not be an issue this Here, like view A, uh, I already had that. You can add here view X, X. 
color is blue. Why? Why? Okay. Let's check this section. Okay. Same coloring. on the title is balance so our title will be single sided cross type or any name or no need to write the name single sided car park shade Details, run number, run by. So this converted to all of these. Only this, I think. Def points. In this circular, if you want to convert it to def point, it's up to you. If you don't want, it will be fine. So turn off the def points. So the shop drawing is completed. Only you have. Now my PDF PDF okay, paper size okay windows Before printing, just make sure that your coloring is fine. So I see here this color. We need to convert it to white color. This one, this. Change this before I prepare this as a dotted line. Now I want to convert it to central line. Okay, now it is fine. You will increase the letter, you can increase up to five. So, see all the properly detailed. 3D details, these are the 3D details. It's looking very nice and very professional. It is taking time to draw this, but it is looking very professional. See this. Hopefully, you like the video. If you want to ask something you can ask any time so next I will prepare 
the foundation details I have prepared this video very detailed each and everything very easy 